Hey Heart fans, Butch Hartman here. So glad you guys have joined us. Okay, Thundercats. Thundercats, what are they? They are cats made of thunder. Go back to the year 1985. Doc, I need your help to get back to the year 1985. All right, so Thundercats, here's what the deal is. In 1985, they make a show called the Thundercats. Thundercats are a bunch of characters that are forced to flee their home world of Thundera. That's right. And while they're fleeing their home world, they're in space, they get attacked by a bunch of mutants, I think, from the planet Plundar. Not making this up. And then the Thundercats end up on third Earth. They're people that look like cats, basically, and they're led by a dude named Lion-O. In fact, I did a drawing of Lion-O here on the channel. A few months ago, we did a video called Black Panther in Eight Different Cat Styles. You can see that I drew Prince T'Challa with Lion-O as a Thundercat, kind of in the same style. We've even done a uh, small pilot episode of a show I did called Dynamice. I did it over at Cartoon Network. I did it as a comedy pilot, but I originally designed it, and it was kind of based on the Thundercats, but it was with mice. I wanted to draw these really tough-looking mice, and that's kind of got a Thundercats vibe to it. So yes, we've uh, we've embraced the Thundercats here on the Butch Hartman channel, but Cartoon Network is now rebooting the Thundercats, and they've released a little trailer, and I'm gonna check it out, because uh, apparently there's mixed reviews. So let's uh, check it out without any further ado. I didn't sneeze. Without any further ado. I'm going to the interweb. Here we go. Alright. Okay, so the design of this is totally gumball. Totally regular show. Well, let's start small. I'm a Thundercat, and this is All right. a magic slicing stick. Okay, there we go. It's very Adventure Time, very self-aware. Oh, now we're going into Warner Brothers Animation. Okay, into the building. I've not been to this building yet. I know friends that are in this building, though. I'm glad they're working. Victor Courtright, we're going to the producer of the show. This is interesting. I grew up watching Thundercats. My old Victor Courtright. Was super into it. I cool. watched a bunch of it. He's a Thundercats a fan. And sort of stuck with me for a long time. Got the sword. I think that the world that they built. He has interesting hair. Really He's got a big ponytail on top of his head. Of how silly and crazy and outlandish. And so um, are. these guys are working hard. Always good to see animators Same working. Time, like it wouldn't be Thundercats if it didn't have super cool action. Seems like he likes the show a lot. He loves the show. Is very much something that we want to. Win. It's funny so these we're these uh, we're workers in the in the um, studio had logos on their shirt and they blurred them out. We take two more towards really cool. Well, the design of this is totally uh, Adventure Time. It's totally um, Gumball. He's got a tablet like me. He's got a Cintiq. That's good. Watching he watched the original Thundercats, of course. History gold. It's a challenge by the original show. Yep, if you're watching the original. Podcast, he watched the original title to get some inspiration. It's got to be exceptionally good. The concept of the intro is the entire backstory of the Thunder. So they're working on the intro, the trying to get a very cool intro. They're filming their group here, all looking around. Space. So they're crash landing on third earth I'm a little I'm a little jealous because when they filmed me back in the early 2000s they didn't film me in HD these guys are all filmed in HD big crazy sweeping camera move everything was was driven by music okay so he's working hard in the opening library for anything that felt like the right I've never met Victor court right seems like a very nice dude they blurred out all their logos that's nice is impossible. They put out the logos there in this trailer of all the people. Compete with the energy that this song has. This show is So okay, there's not a ton of animation. They're showing a little bit of it. The original. So as a fan, These guys are having a great time working on this. So hopefully you do too. Okay, there we go. Who knew making animation was so complicated? All right, there's a little more animation here. We watch a little video clip. Actually, I don't have any idea what this thing is. Let's see if it works like this. <laughs> yep, guess it does. Yeah. Well, the animation looks nice. Here's the title right here. Here's part of the title. Very nice. Sweeping animation. All big one. All one. That's a very nice looking. Well, that's cool looking. Oh, this show's gonna do well, I think. Okay, all right, first thoughts. Okay, so, people who love the original Thundercats are going to hate this, but those people are probably in their 30s and 40s, and so Cartoon Network doesn't care about them. <laughs> all Cartoon Network cares about are the young kids who've never seen Thundercats before. So, for a generation of kids who are gonna grow up watching this, I think they're gonna really like it. I think it looks really great. I think the kids end up learning about this show and seeing it for the first time are gonna actually absolutely love it. I think there's a lot of hard work that's gone into this show. I think it looks great. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of everything looking like Gumball or Adventure Time. That's just what these guys are doing these days. I think it's a little 
little overused now. I wish people could be a little more creative. I'm not saying these people aren't creative. I'm just saying that it seems like there should be a different look for this show. But I know that they're like, oh, it's gotta look like Gumball. It's gotta look like Adventure Time. Because for some reason, everybody thinks everything has to be Adventure Time these days. I don't understand that. I understand that Adventure Time is a iconic show with its own look, but to copy it and make everything look like it is sort of like a, I don't know, seems like kind of a cop out to me just in that sense. However, this guy seems very talented. I wish him the best. I wish I had hair like that. I wish I could have a fountain of hair on top of my head. I don't really have the fountain of hair, but uh, I can tell these guys are working hard. This uh, the, the bit of animation I saw, the title sequence uh, section they showed looks fantastic. Uh, there's a lot of hard work that went into that, so I appreciate that tremendously. And hey, you know what? If it's funny, I think they're shooting for funny. It looks like they're shooting for funny with action. I have a feeling they're going to really push the heck out of this and really make it uh, the hit I think it deserves to be. It looks um, pretty cool. So, hey, all the best to Victor Courtright and, and the gang over there at Cartoon Network and Warner Brothers. Again, the diehard fans, um, you know, they're always going to fight for the original Thundercats, but that was a long, long time ago. I mean, I have a lot of fans who love Danny Phantom, and it was a while ago, not as long as Thundercats was, so I can see that if you're going to remake something like this, you should do it in a totally different style, so for that reason, I can see why they did it. So, anyway, it looks pretty cool. I um, I can just see the toy. I know they're going to push the heck out of the toys. So there'll be a lot of toys involved and everything, so it looks kind of kind of fun. So, all the best to the gang over there at Warner Brothers and Cartoon Network with Thundercats. Wouldn't listen to the naysayers if I were you, because, to be honest with you, the original Thundercats was a long time ago. I mean, do they do they want a reboot of that show to look exactly like the original show? Because uh, that wouldn't be the greatest. Hopefully, they'll all have a great time on the show. Hopefully, the audience will embrace it. And, um, yeah, so there you go. Butch Hartman's review of Thundercats Roar. Uh, do you guys agree? Agree with me. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Do you think this show has a chance? Should this show even be given a chance? What do you guys think? Should um, Cartoon Network reboot a bunch of other things? I guarantee you, if this works and people watch it, I guarantee you Cartoon Network is going to be first on the bandwagon to reboot a ton of old anime stuff. Look out for Biker Mice from Mars. Just saying. Watch out for that. So, all right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, art gives you power use it wisely. Hey Heart fans, subscribe here to keep up with me, Danny, Timmy, Dudley, Bunsen, and the Noob Network, my new app full of cartoons, shows, and games. Download it here. Click over here to watch my most recent video and here to start a playlist related to this video. Whoa, check out that awesome fan art. To be featured here, use hashtag heartfanart and tag me. I'm on every social media platform known to man. Cartoon Butch out. Pencil drop.